year. According to a new survey from Bankrate, more Americans are carrying credit card balances from month to month. And with people carrying that credit card debt for longer periods of time and interest rates at an all-time high, you may be wondering how to break the cycle of revolving debt. I sure am. So Jen Burke from the Maine Credit Union League is joining us now today with some helpful advice for people struggling to pay off their credit card balances. And, you know, Jen, when you have all that credit card debt, the process of paying it down is, is, is overwhelming for so many. Absolutely, and it may feel like I can never come out from under this debt. But the reality is you can take incremental steps to help pay off those credit card balances. And the first thing that you should do is take an inventory of what you owe. How many credit cards do you have? What are your balances? And what are the interest rates for each card? And then you want to prioritize that. You want to pay down your high interest debt first. So if you've got a credit card with a 25 percent interest rate versus a 12 percent mm -hmm. interest rate, you want to pay that higher balance off sooner. And then it sounds obvious, but you really need to look at your spending. Now some people get into credit card debt because of a medical emergency or some unexpected circumstances, but a lot of times, more often than not, people are in credit card debt because of overspending. Sure. So if you're just spending too much, you need to really look at your wants versus your needs. So if you have, for example, five streaming services on your credit card, do, do you really need those? No, you, you, those, that's a want, that's not a need, and you wanna cut that down. And then I would also encourage people to look at your debt and see if you could do a debt consolidation loan, or even get, if you have good credit, a new credit card, which might sound counterintuitive here, with a 0% interest rate. Mm -hmm. So get all of that debt on a card that has zero interest for an introductory period, let's say six to 12 months, and then start to chunk, pay off the chunks of those balances to bring that debt down. The trick is though, no more new spending. No more <laughs> new spending and pay what you owe, or at least the minimum balances, on time. That's the, that's the slippery slope folks get into the, where they just either miss payments or they're paying things late. That will impact your credit and it will also add fees to, to your you know, budget that you have to pay down because if you miss a payment, you're going to get charged for it. So it's, it's like a revolving mm -hmm. circle here and you want to be able to break that. All right, Jen, thank you so much, as always, for your insight. We know this is a problem that affects so many people, <laughs> yeah. so we appreciate you coming on the show. And we'll be right back.